Amblyseus swirskii is a type 3b predatory mite, a generalist used to control broad mites, russet mites, white flies, and thrips. They also eat and can complete their life cycle on many kinds of pollen, which gives them an advantage over other predatory mites in that a population can establish and maintain itself even when pest populations are scarce or absent. Supplemental pollen can be applied to a crop to maintain Swirskii, but a recent research report by Yingfang Shao and others demonstrated a more detailed evaluation of banker pepper crops as the source of supplemental pollen. Three cultivars of capsicum annum were investigated, masquerade, red missile, and explosive ember. Each individual was grown from seed, and introduced to Swirskii were evaluated as the seedlings grew. The population densities of Swirskii increased rapidly on the seedlings at 30 days in early April, reached peaks about 45 days in mid-April, gradually decreased at 75 days in mid-May, and then maintained low moderate levels at 90 days after release. Since ornamental peppers flower multiple times, populations would be expected to follow the flowering schedule. Highest mean of Swirskii per leaf was capsicum annum explosive ember at about 1200 Swirskii. It also had significantly more eggs and motile life stages per individual. All three cultivars, however, were successful in prophylactic capability. Aside from the source of food, small shelters made from non-glandular trichomes called tuft domatia have been implicated by other researchers as helpful for predatory mites, and these were observed on the pepper plants. Tuftomatia may have the following benefits. Shelter for breeding and development. Increasing the fungal spores, which might serve as alternative food sources for some. Moderating the microenvironment, especially humidity. And affording protection from intra-guild predation. In one part of the study, 20-day-old Phasalius vulgaris dusky bean cultivars were isolated in mesh cages and infested with an 80-20 combination of 15 Scyrthrips dorsalis and Franklinella occidentalis, the chili thrips and western flower thrips respectively, and given an incubation period of 7 days, after which 5 gravid swirskii were introduced. 14 days later, the population of control green beans that did not receive the treatment had an average of 235.4 thrips, and those that received the introduction had an average of 23.4, about 95% less. The same green bean cultivars were also infested with 20 adult Bamesia tabasi, the silverleaf whitefly, with 5 gravid swirskii from ornamental peppers added 2 days later. Five more were added every day for 14 days, and then pest and predator populations were evaluated. Control plants had an average of 379 motile Bamesia tabasi, while those that received treatment had an average of 2.75, more than 99% less motile whitefly. Under isolated greenhouse conditions, three 30-day-old greenhouse-grown California Wonder sweet peppers were placed with an explosive ember banker plant, which already had an established Swirskii population. Two days later, approximately 300 chili thrips nymphs were transferred to each experimental four-plant crop. 28 days later, control plants were seriously damaged, while treated plants were not.